A lot of people are still talking about a disturbing video which captured an assault this weekend in the heart of one of Buffalo's most popular neighborhoods. Now, some insist that it's all part of a disturbing trend that's happening in Allentown, but police say that statistically there is nothing at all to indicate that things are getting any worse there. Dave McKinley says that three people are under arrest now and charged with gang assault in connection with the incident. It is disturbing to watch a man and his wife lay in the middle of Allen Street near Elmwood being beaten until police arrive. By the time they do, according to a man who claims to be the father of the woman who's seen on the left, she had a broken nose. Her husband suffered a broken arm and facial injuries. Some will tell you, including the person who shot this video and asked their name not be used for fear of reprisal, that such violence has become more common, with thugs increasingly targeting victims. He's not alone. It's everyone either live in the area or like have bills in the area. Mohammed Jaffer has had a pizza business here for six years. Almost every weekend we have fight in the area. Almost every weekend. He has security guards inside his restaurant to keep his patrons safe amid what he describes as a disturbing trend out on the street. It is the start uh, increasing every weekend, say, the last year. Before this was okay, it was decent. Has Allentown become a trouble spot uh, for uh, Buffalo police and or uh, the community at large? I would not say that is true in any any sense. When something like this happens, something that's caught on video, it tends to give the impression that there is a severe occurrence of these things happening on a weekly basis. Um, and it's just not the case. Actually, when we looked at our records over the last few weeks, uh, things have been relatively quiet in all of our entertainment districts. But he also conceded the timing of this occurrence just after 5 a.m. was unfortunate for the victims. Correct. So the uh, entertainment district detail had actually ended prior to this assault occurring. About 10 minutes beforehand, meaning the cops who'd gone back to their station houses had to be summoned back here. So that accounts for uh, what some people may see as a slower response based on uh, their experiences when the detail is actually in place. And he insists the officers who did respond made quick work of the situation. From the point of the call being dispatched to our officers to the point of us having all three suspects in custody was just under nine minutes. Some suggest that Allentown should get the same kind of protection through special details as one has become accustomed to on Chippewa Street. Ronaldo claims it does, and while he would not disclose how much in terms of manpower, he says the details for both the entertainment districts are similar in number, with cops easily being able to shift from one place to another when problems arise. We'll have more about that tonight at 6. Dave Bikidley, Channel 2 News.